Hey, what's up YouTube, welcome back to another video. My name is Spencer Burke. Hey, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're gonna go check out a place in Miami that is called Wheels Boutique. Now, I found these guys through online forms called Six Speed Online and even like Team Speed, all the OG forms from back in the day. And then now they've been doing social media, obviously with Instagram and Facebook. And then recently they kind of went into the whole YouTube thing, which is what really intrigued me to go by and say hello. I've always wanted to see their facility. And I'm gonna go head down to Miami. It's about an hour drive. I'm looking forward to it. Without further ado, let's go see probably one of the best wheel boutiques that you're ever gonna see in the USA. So we started talking on social media we did. about three weeks ago. And you're David, correct? Yes, sir. David Nussbaum. And you work at Wheels Boutique. Yes, sir. And I want to bring up something so my audience understands that I go pretty far back with Wheels Boutique to Six Speed Online. So we started off 20 years ago as a wheel shop just by the name Wheels Boutique. But over the years, it's evolved to a lot of different things. So basically, we do performance modifications. Started off with doing wheels only and it's evolved over time over the 20 years of business so now we do everything from performance exhaust suspension wide body kits tuning so it's definitely expanded over the years obviously from what i see on your social media a lot of ferrari a lot of porsche you're more the higher end of the scale correct right we're uh, more of the higher end of the scale with regards to the car manufacturers but we still do a lot of other stuff like bmws uh, volkswagens as well maserati so if you if you come to wheels boutique and you want to do some modifications to your car we have everything you just moved in here correct a couple of months ago yes so we had an old facility that we kind of outgrew over the years and so we just bought this building about 10 months ago we moved in a couple months after we redid the entire building we've got three different units and it's um, we love it I mean the old building was getting a little long in the tooth <laughs> and but now you come into the showroom which you'll see in a little bit and it's absolutely spectacular and before this how small how much smaller was your shop compared to this one it was about half the size wow so you really up the size yeah then. <laughs> we expanded we definitely outgrew it the parking lots were just people double parking and now we've got plenty of space for for all the supercars that we have very nice can we see the showroom of course Come on in. I walked in and I was like, I'm in a luxury hotel right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So this is definitely a party trick, as people say. You walk in, you've got the marble floors. Immediately to the left, you have Anarchy, which is one of the uh, top wheel manufacturers in the industry today, manufactured in Southern California. Then we have a little bit over here. We've got HREs, which everybody knows. They've been around since the 70s. We've got some Forgiatos. So a lot of people know us for many, some of the top brands, but we also have a wide portfolio over a dozen different wheel brands. And that's before we even touch the exhaust brands that we have and the carbon aero brands that we have. So for these wheels here, people can come in and get off the shelf and also they can custom order with you, correct? Exactly. The majority of the wheels we sell will be custom built specifically for each customer and to specifically fit whatever model vehicle they have. A huge advantage of having the wheels on display is that it's hard to get an idea of what each finish looks like through photos. So a lot of my customers will come in, I had one earlier today, and he wanted to look at what brushed our clear looked like. And so this gives you this real life image of, of what it could possibly look like. And then sometimes I get customers that are like, hey, can I put it next to my car? So oh yeah, they pull the outside. <laughs> Luckily these are lightweight, so I don't have to work out too much, but that really, really does help. And it gives you a, a, just a depth of that photos can never do. You can actually touch it. You've got these cuts in it. So it, it's, it's definitely a big advantage to have a, a large showroom. Well, I think when someone comes in here versus seeing a picture online, physically touching it and seeing it, they may end up hating it or they may end up loving it even more. Exactly. So there's a huge thing there too. So for me, I don't, I know a lot about wheels as far as like size and fitment and thing like that. It, but as far as like with these caliber of wheels, 
What would you say is the most popular car that you put these on? Porsche guys, uh, they are, are the most open to modifying their cars. BMW guys as well. You get Lamborghini, Ferrari, McLaren has come on strong a lot lately. We've been doing a lot of those. If you have a Volkswagen, I used to have a Volkswagen. I did some HRE wheels and any car that you have, you can modify it. But Porsche, I would say is, is number one. HRE has about a dozen or so different wheel series and each series has its own characteristics. These two here, you can tell how the spokes are very, very thick. And this is because this is their truck line. So they call it the TR1 series. Basically any truck that you have or heavy vehicle, like some flying spurs are extremely heavy and they need the aluminum to be load rated for it. That would be this series. Then you have another series from them called the Classic Series. The name uh, says it all. Designs that are known for for, for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And then you have some of the more advanced series like the P2. Now, if you look at the cuts, it has 360 degree surfacing. Very, very unique cuts across the entire line. I mean, you can yeah. really get custom with these. Exactly, you can get custom with these. Since these are three piece wheels, you can have the center face a different color as you can see here from the outer lip and even in the inner barrel. You can do it a nice little red. These bolts here you can color as well. So full customization. Typically you would want to guide your customer into doing a design that nobody's ever done before so that they can be proud that they have a wheel that is a one of one basically. So you can have a customer come in here and order something that nobody else has. Exactly. You can do something crazy. I've only seen this one time on a Mercedes. So that we actually ordered a fifth wheel while his set was being built so we could put it on display. Uh -huh. We kind of do that. We get some of the cooler designs that people have done so that others can see the finishes because not every day do you see this electric blue. No, I mean, that's very, very unique compared to what you usually see. Yeah. In the wheel brands, we have Borsteiner, we also have Forgiato, we have BBS, of course Anarchy as well. Can we talk about Anarchy? Because yeah. they're out of California, correct? They are. So, funny thing is that these are actually manufactured at HRE's facility. It's a private label from HRE. So you'll see a lot of uh, inspiration from, from HRE and Anarchy. So sometimes HRE will see the designs and say, hey, that's a cool idea, let's, let's expand on that. And the same thing, same thing with Anarchy. This is their brand new retro series line. So you have the RS1s, RS2s, and RS3s. And then this is brand new for 2020 RS5. I absolutely love this. I was gonna get it for my Porsche. Yeah. Where does the price point fall with these right here? So this is gonna be their most affordable wheel line. In standard finishes, you're looking at about 8,000 for a set. Obviously, it can go up depending on the finish. If you want to do a crazier finish like a polished purple or something like a champagne, that can go up. But again, the beauty of these wheels is that they're custom built. So whatever finish you want, you can get. I never realized how in depth you can get with certain wheels like this. Because yes. for me, like I'll go online, I'll be like, okay, I want a set of these wheels. They're two thousand dollars shipped to my house. Put tires on them. That's it. But with this, I would say you're much more of an experience kind of company. Yes. Where people come in, they sit down, they spec something out, and they wait for it. And then when, when they get it. How cool is it to see their reaction when they first see it? It's extremely cool, especially if they come to drop off the car and they actually have the unboxing. So a little bit later, I'll probably give you a walkthrough through the warehouse where we have tons and tons of uh, Anarchy boxes. In this example, you open up the packaging, it says Anarchy on the box. So you know that this wheel was built specifically for you. It took about four weeks, sometimes a little bit longer, depending on how you spec it. And just knowing that it was built for you, you open it up, you take out the foam, and you first see it, it's, it's, it's like, like Christmas morning. It's like Christmas morning. <laughs> you said it perfect. That's really cool to see that. And so it is a, an entire experience. It's my job to kind of guide the customer into picking the right fitment because if you speak with somebody that don't, doesn't know what they're doing, it could not work on, on the car. And these were built specifically for you. So that would be a, a huge headache. So it's really important to get the fitment right first, guide them on what sort of finish combination would look right and then let them enjoy the, the entire experience from beginning to end. And also too, 
with you ordering these rims and tires for them, you order tires too, correct? We do, tire, okay. complete tire package. So for me, I know a lot about tire fitment. and I've been through it multiple times from my BMW to Subaru to everything else. You can really mess up a fitment if you don't do it the right way. Yep. There's some pressure on you for that when you order tires, huh? There is. There's a huge pressure. And then sometimes you'll also get a customer that says, hey, I want to run this 325 on an M3. And I tell them, hey, we've never done this before. So are you sure that you want to run these specs? Because once they're on, they're on. And you can't return it. So in that sense, I do have to know what my fitments are for every single vehicle. And that's why anytime a new vehicle comes out, we try our best to, to order one, bring it in house and do some extensive test fitting, which is what we did with the Bugatti Chiron. We got the fitment down, we sent the data to Anarchy, we built some sets for it, and there's a couple of Chirons in the world with Anarchy wheels on it. And so it's very, very important to get the new cars that come out for us to get the fitments correct and less pressure on me. Understood, I get that. Like I said, it feels like a, a luxury showroom when you yes. walk in here. <laughs> we just have to make sure we don't drop the wheels because <laughs> the floor will be ruined. Oh wow, that's special. I mean, that's just a casual XJ220, right? Yes. Wow. This belongs to the owner of Wheels Boutique. As I mentioned, sometimes we'll buy some cars and test fit them, and sometimes we'll buy some cars just for fun. And, and you test fitted wheels. wheels on this? Yes. <laughs> so and these are HREs. <laughs> wow. HRE 935s from their vintage series. As I mentioned, they have a lot of different series. You had to get a vintage series wheel for this vintage car. It's a 1992. When it came out, top speed was 217. I got a chance to drive it. It's extremely fun. I love it. Dude, I can't imagine how much fun this thing is. When you take this out, a lot of people, the first comment is, I didn't even know that Jaguar makes this car. Yeah. And Well, it's so special and it's so unique that you never see them. You never see them. To this day, I think the styling is very, very unique. It's one of my favorites. So I'm very, very happy that we have the opportunity to own this car. And then this is a couple of other cars from Ben's collection. A Z8, this is the second one we built. I actually sold the first one to a customer of ours and Ben regretted it. So he's like, all right, I'm buying another one and building <laughs> it again. SL600, so some wheels for that. But then we have some of the customer cars that I could uh, chat about a little bit. Sure, of course. That 812 super fast is really sick. <laughs> let's, let's go directly. To yeah, that let's one. start with that one. <laughs> In my opinion, there's nothing like a V12 naturally aspirated Ferrari engine. This thing screams like you would not believe. But friends, as, there's a saying around here, friends don't let friends stay stock. So That's a very good thing to say. <laughs> so we've got some Anarchy wheels, 21, 22s. We've got an IP exhaust as well. It's gonna get some Novatech carbon pieces down the road, but I love this car. He actually traded it in the F12 Berlinetta for this, and I think he's had it for three days. Immediately comes here for- uh, Three days. For all of wow. the, the modifications. Good for him, that's a proper way to do it. So yeah. let's, say, let's say someone like this brings their car in, mm -hmm. and they just wanna, get everything tricked out. You can be the one who says, we recommend a Novatech kit, Novatech springs, here's the wheels. And I'm assuming most of the time the customer's like, all right, let's go. Exactly. So this is a good buddy of mine. Um, he's a good friend of mine outside of the shop. So what we did is we had his wheels built in about 10 business days. Usually it takes about four weeks, but we, we hooked them up a little bit. I picked up his car from the house in the morning yesterday, and we've already done the Novatech springs. We've already done the wheels and the tires. <laughs> so all we're waiting for is the IP exhaust, which arrives any minute now so that we can uh, complete that. That so is cool. So two day turnaround time for suspension, wheels and exhaust, and the tune as well. Happy customer. We've got the Dodge Challenger, top of the line. This car already came to us with the wheels and the tires and the tire stickers, but what we were doing is a supercharger upgrade kit. So as I mentioned to you, over the years, we've expanded a lot to do everything that you could imagine. The only thing we won't really touch on is crash replacement bodywork. Other than that, forced induction, we put a bigger blower on it, so it's gonna be even faster for the Demon. This is getting an exhaust. They've got the Anarchy AM36 wheels, center locks. That has to be one of my favorite designs. So this one came with the center lock. It's an option on the Aventador S. So that's another thing. Remember, like you said, I have to, it's pressures on me to get the right fitment. You also have to make sure what full pattern the customer has. So there's a lot of factors that come into play when you're sizing up a wheel. There is. More more factors than specking out your car in some cases. <laughs> what are these for? Damn, those are huge. This is for Lamborghini Urus. Lamborghini Urus. Yeah. What size is that wheel? That's a 24 inch. And then you've got the 355. 355. <laughs> I believe they're 355. <laughs> Let me check. Dude, this is a Let monster truck Let me just double check tire. my specs. <laughs> Let's roll. 355. 355. I'm a car geek. Why do I know this? Dude, that is crazy. <laughs> that is a monster truck wheel. 
yeah. <laughs> a lot of concavity you can get with that. I love the Urus. Yeah, it's me too. One of my favorite vehicles. And you can fit big wheels on that too. This is where the magic happens, or where the magic starts at least. We've got rows and rows and rows of HRE wheels, Anarchy wheels, Vorsteiner wheels, Rotoform wheels, VBS wheels. Then we've got all the Pirelli tires, the Michelins, the Continentals. If you have your customer waiting longer than he needs to be, then, then it's going to be an unhappy customer. So we make sure to stock everything that we need so that it's a quick turnaround time. Do other shops do this? No. This is impressive, man. Thank you. Like very impressive. That. We started a trade-in and consignment program a couple years back, which I believe we're still the only ones to do it. Oftentimes, the customers that I deal with have multiple cars or they have a car that they kind of trade in and get the new version like we saw with the 812. And so what happens is the fitments are different. So even though the Berlinetta and the 812 Superfast are very, very similar, their wheel fitments are different. So what do you do when he's, hey, I'm trading in my car, what do I do with my wheels? Well, you know what? Let's take them in on trade or let's list them on consignment so you can get some of your money back and roll it into the next set. And so a lot of these boxes you'll see labeled in inventory and it's, it's, it helps out both the customers that are returning to us and those that don't like to wait three to four weeks for wheels to be manufactured, you have something in stock immediately. Wow, so this is a big incentive for someone who comes in here and says, hey, I want to trade in my wheels and I want new ones too. You can do it on the spot. Exactly, we could do it on the spot. Wow. You would not believe how many times somebody comes in with, uh, with a car and they don't think they're going to spend any money. And I say, hey, you know what? Let's walk back here, show them what I have in stock. And they walk out same day with, with some new wow. wheels. So we bought this building. It had this front unit that we weren't using. So we wanted to make sure that we can complete the experience for customers with uh, detailing. And, and it, what's becoming more and more common is clear bras on cars and paint correction. So these guys next door adopted the name Detail Boutique. And a lot of the, as I mentioned, a lot of my guys finish off with the wheels. And then they come in here. This is the waiting area. We've got John and Eric doing their magic. And a lot of, as I mentioned, a lot of our cars, we got the customer's Mercedes G-Wagon with our lift kit that we, that we developed. The owner of this, uh, this place is called Randy with Savage Garage. That's gonna be his 4GT. Then we have our Bugatti Chiron. This Chiron, this is what you use to test fit wheels, correct? Exactly, this used to have a, a red anarchy set that we did, but that's the, the fitment we developed. It's for sale. So is it? So anybody that's interested, just give us a shout. We can talk about it. 4GT belongs to Randy at Savage Garage. We did everything to it, the Anarchy wheels. It's got a crazy KW kit that lifts the entire car up and down with a hydraulic lift. So if someone comes in, they can buy wheels, they can get a full detail, and they're good to go. Exactly. Wow, what an experience, man. Yep. So I've seen this guy on Instagram, famous artist, right? Yes, Alec Monopoly, very, very famous for, his name says it all, the Monopoly man. He's a good friend of ours. And we said, hey, we're moving into the new building. We want something really, really cool that's iconic that people that we're passing by can immediately know what building it is. And so he's like, count me in, flew in. We picked him up in our Lexus LFA. Of course. So that he could arrive in style. <laughs> his artwork is amazing. He had a crane, he had his assistant. We had everybody coming out here recording it. And so oftentimes we'll get tags over the weekend of people that park their cars right here out on the fence. Oh, your photo shoots. The <laughs> How long have you guys been in business for? So Ben opened up the business in 1999. This is the third building that they've been in. So we, when we had our open house in the summer, we called it WB 3.0. And we plan to be here for a while. We purchased the building. We opened up the detail boutique so to complete the experience. You know, this year we were looking for, for different things to do. Expand our YouTube channel because we already have the Instagram, the Facebook. So we got to roll with the times and kind of adapt to it. Well, that's how I found out more about you guys was the YouTube channel and seeing how active you were. So if anyone wants to find you on Instagram, Facebook, on YouTube, it's all Wheels Boutique, right? It's all Wheels Boutique. Uh, we also have mine, which is david.wheelsboutique. And that I try and focus on the clients of mine. I don't really post up anybody else's, but it's just my guy, so everybody can stay connected and whatnot. But it's we're all one big family here. We love it. We want our customers to feel like they're part of a family as well. Gotcha. Well, hey, thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that. Got Chipotle. I'm gonna go home and edit this video. I have a lot of work to do. Uh, if you guys would like to check out my agency, Burke Marketing, I help people with SEO, social media. Also, I've been doing affiliate marketing on Amazon. So if you want to learn more about affiliate marketing, check out my second channel, which is always going to be the first link on my YouTube here. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.